Let's start by talking about what a list is. A list is people who have opted to receive emails from you. They may have visited one of your websites or any Web 2.0 property or something similar that you own and said, I want some information and filled in the form on your page. It may have been a pop-up, an unblockable pop-up, may just have been a form on the page. Whatever it might be, they've said they want to receive emails from you. Usually, it's related to a website that you've created. So if you've got a website on stop smoking, you may have a stop smoking list. If you've got one on parrot keeping, you may have a parrot keeping list. If you've got one on cookie uh, cooking, maybe you've got a list on that as well. But they've signed up to your list for a reason, because they want more information on the subject that your website's about, the niche that you're marketing in. They either want the free gift that you signed up, or if they're not quite sure to buy your product yet, so they want some more information, or they want the course that you're offering to give them access to, or anything like that. That's why they've opted in. Now, typically, your list is going to contain people from all over the world. Don't be surprised if there's people who don't come from your country. Don't be surprised if there's people that don't speak the same language as well as you, or don't understand the colloquialisms you use or some of the terms you use. There's going to be people that are going to be experts in the niche. There's going to be people that are intermediate. And there's going to be people that are complete beginners that have no knowledge whatsoever. What you may also find, if you start being successful in the niche, you're going to get some of your competitors subscribing to your list as well, because they're going to want to check you out and see what you're doing. So this means that when you're contacting your list, you need to make sure that you use language that everyone can understand or everyone in that niche can understand. You don't want to use colloquialisms or refer to uh, things that are going on in your city or country because not everyone will be aware of those. In fact, you even have to be wary about saying things like tonight or good morning because some people reading your email, it's not going to be morning for them. And not everybody, but some of them are going to complain or they're going to, it's going to confuse them. You know, they're going to read an email at you know, 10 o'clock at night and says, Good morning, it's great weather here, it's doing fantastic. And they're looking out the window thinking, It's snowing, it's not fantastic. And it's not morning, it's night. So you can see, you can confuse people by using sort of terminology that refers to where you are. It depends on how you do it, but you know, in general, it could confuse people. But a list is one thing, and one thing you really need to understand. It's a very valuable resource. A list is going to make all the difference for you in making money online. A list is the difference between earning a decent amount of money and earning a lot of money. Many marketers earn a lot more with a list than they do from their products. But you need to make sure that your list and your autoresponder and your mailings complies with spam laws. Now, many countries have introduced spam laws in a vain attempt to combat the rising problem of spam. I can't remember how many emails are spam now, but it's a ridiculous amount. It's something like 80 to 90% of all emails sent are spam. So it's a serious problem. And unfortunately for you and I as list owners, many companies tend to shoot first and ask questions later when it comes to compliance with these laws. So what you'll find in a lot of cases is, you know, if they complain to your web host about spam, the web host will shut you down and then go, hey, what are you doing spamming? At which time, of course, your business is gone because your website's been shut down. So, you know, firstly, always keep a backup of your sites. And secondly, make sure you are aware of the spam laws and you comply with them. So this means you don't send out unsolicited emails to people. You don't advertise, you know, things that they don't want. So, you know, it's all well and good sending out a message about, say, something like Viagra to a list that would be interested in that. But your parrot keepers, they may not appreciate being sent that sort of email. So you've got to make sure that you comply with the spam laws. And it's for your benefit as well, because if you don't, your messages are going to get blacklisted. They're going to end up in junk folders and spam folders, and they're never going to be read. And, of course, that's a problem. One thing you could do, and we'll talk about this a bit further on in the course, is use something called double opt-in to protect yourself 
with the spam laws because with double opt-in it basically means somebody says I want to join your list your autoresponder then sends them a message that says hey someone using this email address has requested to join this list was it you and do you want to and then they click on the link now the upside of this is you're protected from this you, you comply with the spam law so if anyone comes to you and says hey he's spamming me and this has happened to me I've had some very nasty emails off people saying who the hell do you think you are sending me these emails and I say hang on you subscribe to my list on this date at this time from this IP address you double opted in to my list so I'm not spamming you you have forgotten you've signed up to my list and uh, that tends to send them away I've also had companies contact me saying you're spamming us I'm saying no I'm not this person's requested my requested information and I can prove to them I, I've even had my web host sort of contact me saying someone's complained about um, spamming and again it wasn't spam I had the double opt-in so I just showed my web host the uh, double opt-in said right oh that person yet yeah, they signed up on that date at this time and from that IP address and they double opted in since then they bought this product this product and this product and they've opened all these emails so I was able to go back and give them all this information and my web host just went oh fair enough and just told the person where to go but you know you've got to be protected because you, know, you can get yourself shut down and if your business relies on that it could be a problem I want to tell you a little about what's in this course this is a, a course about list building we're going to show you a number of ways to build a list but I want you to understand why you want a list a lot of marketers can't get their head around why a list is good we're going to talk about that in the next video so that you know why it's a good thing for you to have I'm going to give you some help choosing an autoresponder I'm going to be honest it can be difficult there's like millions of them out there you know there's hosted services there's scripts you can install there's expensive scripts there's cheap scripts there's expensive hosted services there's cheaper ones which do you go for which one's best you know do you just pick the one that everyone else is going for we're going to talk about that in a little bit more detail I'm going to talk to you about how you actually build a list I want to talk about the mechanics of it where do you find subscribers I want to talk about some of the best ways for you to find subscribers and why list building needs to be the focus of your business I'm also going to teach you some of the most powerful ways to build your list these are incredible ways for you to uh, build a list and to get people subscribing you know once you've got subscribers you've got a great relationship with them you're gonna earn a lot of money but you need to understand what your list wants and we're going to talk about this in this course as well I want you to understand what your list is after and how you can give it to them I'm also going to talk about where to find content from your list I mean again a lot of people are put off building a list because they sit and think I've got to write an email to you know, the list every week or every two days or whatever it might be which is great if you've got one list no problems when you've got 10 lists or 20 lists or 100 lists it becomes a problem and it becomes quite a serious problem so we're going to talk about where to find content for your lists so that you're not stuck spending all your life writing content for them we're going to talk about the importance of a relationship with your list as well that's vital for you to understand now this course is fully featured it's going to be lots of information there is a book accompanying it if you want to print that out and read that or have it next year as well the there's a lot of there's some crossover between the book and the video but there's information that's in the videos that isn't in the book and vice versa so you're going to have to watch them both and read the book but the book won't take you too long to read this information is going to you know there's going to be a lot of it this video course is fluff free so you're not going to find you know filler and useless information it's all to the point valuable information to help you understand why you need to build a list so grab yourself a pen and paper make yourself comfortable and let's move on to the next video right now